that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Brennan Games. So I'm sorry that I wasn't talking for a while. Um, I was just letting you watch the intro because today I'm doing episode 1 of Let's Play Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. Now, um, this version is available on the App Store for about 20 bucks. Um, and it's available for the new um, OS X um, edition Mavericks. And... Um, so originally this game was a game called Mist. It was released in 1993. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started now. So here we go. What I like to do is this. Uh... Classic Mist is pretty much um, 3D, except you move like like regular Mist. So I'm gonna use this, like this version. Press Escape. Um. So yeah, here we go. Now, um, before we do anything, I am going to uh, do do some exploring. Um, we're gonna take a tour of the island. So here we go. Um, this is called the four chamber. It, the door. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the screen so that you can see better. And if you hold down shift, you can go faster. Oh, and something else that I love about this game is that you can toggle a flashlight. It's super awesome. You get to toggle a flashlight for the first time in Mist. It's so cool. And um, this it is supposed to be water. Um, so if you push this button, nothing happens really. Originally in Mist, it it looked just like there was water. There was no lights or anything under there, unless you press the button. So over here we have um, settings, dimensional imager, topographical excrution test 40, marker switch diagram 47, water turbulent pool 67, which is what we just saw. So let's try 40 first. Um, it's at 67 right now. So let's go to um, 40. Let's see what happens now. Ah, yeah, there we go. So now an island is going to appear, a holographic island. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. Um, now we're going to do um, marker switch diagram. This is important. So let's go to 47. Oops. Here we go. Now this is important because you're going to want to know what these are. You're going to see these throughout the island. Um, so here we go. Let's turn it on. That is a marker switch. What you're looking at right now. Um... So you're going to see those throughout the island. So let's get out of here now. Um, so let's press this. And so this is a sunken ship. This is the dock. Um, so let's go over here. And um, this is the first marker switch. You can actually flip them up. Oop. So yeah, let's head up here. This is another part of the island. Um, 
here's marker switch. Here's another one. Um, now let's see. Um, there's a bunch of giant gears. Um, we'll head back here later in the game. So let's go over here. Up here. Ooh, what's this? A note. Catherine, I've left you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, Atris. Now, um, in the second game, Riven, you get to meet Catherine. And, um, Atris is in this game too, so yeah. Here's another marker switch. Um, ugh, come on. Why can't I? Ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. So this is the observatory. And this is my favorite music. Here, I'll turn it off. Press this button. Look up, and you can't really see it, but there are actually stars. Here, I'll show you. Sit down in the chair. Come on. Oops. Here we go. Pull this down. There are stars. Now, we're going to come back to this later. Um, so, yeah, this is the library, we'll take a look at this, um, so, um, after we're done with the tour of the entire island, we are going to, um, check out what this does, um, and this, this, um, now, um, if you look closely, you can actually just faintly see some writing on there. That is called Dunny writing. Um, put it in there, and then when you open the book, this guy will appear. He just asked if I'm Cirrus. He's like, Cirrus, is that you? Who are you? I can't see you, I think he said. Akinar, he said, because that's actually his name. Help me, I need... Bring the blue pages. Forever and ever. Listen. I must have the blue pages. Bring them to me, please. And since there's only like a couple blue pages in there, you can't really see much. The more pages you add into the into the book, then um, the better you can see the messages. Um, so here is the red one. No, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna. And here's another guy. Who are you? He asks. I am the Brennan Games. What? He's, what did he say? Bring the red page. I can't see you, he says. If you're ready, you must something. I'd like you to bring a red page, I think he said. I am serious, he said. At first I thought he said, I am serious. Like, I'm serious about this. Like, seriously. There is one thing I need to rescue. So yeah, this is called a trap book. You'll figure out a lot more about these. Um, these are um, books that we're going to read later in the game. So we're going to push um, this to check it out. We'll only have time for part of the tour in the, in the video. So yeah.
let's open this up. Library, it said. And I remember playing this on my iPod, like for the iOS version. And and if you can um and once and once we finish this kind of stuff then we'll be able to hear some music up here and I like this music too but um since there's nothing here um we can't really hear the music so let's see so we're gonna go down again because that part is done let's close this tower it said so this, so this part in the game is pretty important. You know what, I'm just gonna sprint. And, um, this is the fireplace. Um, this is useful at the, at almost the end of the game. So, when you, um, press this, squares appear. And if you want to reset all the squares, you just push to this, then push it again. Oh! Never mind then. Guess that didn't work. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough here. And there, you can see a little bit better now. So I'm going to push, um, so you're going to click on this painting. That swirls. And now we're out again. And there's another one of those marker switches over there. This is a rocket. We're going to visit this too. Um, let's see. Well, oh, a couple birds. Just birds. Okay, um, so we flipped that one up. Um, we'll uh, touch that later. We'll do that later. Um, these are things that we're going to visit later, too. And this is the sunken ship. That's a replica of what's over there. So, yeah. Here's another marker switch. And, um,. Here's another one. So we're gonna go down here. I like this um, soundtrack too. I like the sound in this. So we're gonna push this button. So yeah, I like this too. Um, this will come later. This isn't really of much use right here. That's not of much use. So we're just gonna. So we're gonna head back up as quickly as we can so we can finish almost every part of the tour. Here's another marker switch. And here is the inside of this hut. Whoop. And here's a padlock. And then last but not least, the clock tower. Um, these things change the minute hand and the big hand. And there's another marker switch over there and we can't get to it yet. Alright everyone, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the first part of Let's Play Real Mist. Um, tell your friends about me, hit that like and that subscribe button. I am the Brennan Games, and I will see you guys later. Bye!